Okay, the U.S., the U.K., Australia has been putting out all the propaganda of um, Russia for sure did it, and they put out that uh, those pictures showing a VUK missile launcher, and oh, it was from Russia. And if you go and do a search about Russian missiles, you'll see, oh my gosh, Ukraine says it's proof they they shot it, and that's all on the MSM, all right, and uh, throughout the U.S. and the U.K. Well, Russia is saying, ah, wait a second. We have proof through satellites that a Ukrainian military jet was by the Malaysian MH17 plane right before it went down. Now remember, that Spanish air traffic controller came out and said that there were jets and they were pulled off and that it was the Ukrainian uh, military that shot down the plane. Well, um... And then, oh, that was a hoax and so on. Well, uh, Russia is proving it's not a hoax. And they're proving that they have satellite images of the this plane. And they have this right here. They have the satellite images that they're releasing. Here's where uh, MH17 went down and fighter jet close to it. They also are releasing images showing the Ukrainian military had BUK missile systems right here along in Ukraine near the um, eastern area there. And here they're showing various military. And then the next day, they're gone. So, and this was the day in the wave that they were there. Uh, Russia's also released the fact that they know the U.S. had the satellite directly overhead. And all right here, American satellite was flying over the area of eastern Ukrainian, Ukraine, according to the defense ministry, and it urged the U.S. to publish the space photos and data captured by it. All right. So it is coming out then. Um, you go to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and they're saying, here's some questions that need to be asked. And the, the authority needs to identify the militia as the perpetrators of the tragedy. Um, why it was not closed to civilian aircraft over the combat zone, and why... Did they allow, the air traffic controllers, allow deviation of the route to the aircraft to the north side of the anti-terrorist operation? And, um, interesting, could they comment, Keith needs to comment on behalf of the Spanish air traffic controllers working in Ukraine uh, that were there, that shot down... Uh, which shot down over the territory of Ukraine. Boeing was accompanied by two Ukrainian military aircraft. So they're they're saying, hey, where's those air traffic controllers? And um, what's also interesting? Oh, they also bring out the fact when Ukraine shot down the Russian airliner in 2001 that was going from Tel Aviv to Russia, TU 154. And the leaders of Ukraine denied, denied, denied shooting it down until irrefutable evidence showed it. So it sounds like uh, it's the same thing again. And what seems to be is that the U.S. is going to, is, is being proven that they were pointing the finger and Russia did it, Russia did it, we need to go to war, we need to go to war. And it's going to prove that Ukraine did it. And I'd like to know where the U.S. is going to stand with Ukraine military and um, president when it's proven Ukraine military did it. Are they going to be, go, what, what are they going to do against uh, uh, Ukraine, may, may I ask? I mean, won't that be interesting? I mean, we already know they wanted to go to war with Russia over it and major sanctions and so on over it. So I assume the U.S. will take the same stance with Ukraine. 
What kind of sanctions will they do against Ukraine? What are they going to do against Ukraine when it's proven the Ukrainian military shot down MH17 and tried to blame Russia for it? What is the U.S., the U.K., Australia, and all those countries going to do? I can't wait to find out.